Good day, good day, good day, everyone. It is Rev. Melissa. And if you are on Instagram right now, we are live. If you're joining me on Facebook, YouTube, New Thought Media Network, we are pre-recording. So yes, today's show is pre-recorded because I have to go to the mechanic. And he could only see me at showtime today. So we do what needs to be done. We do what needs to be done. So good day, everyone. Welcome to Morning Sip with Red Melissa. I am Red Melissa. And Sip stands for Spirit in Practice, where we practice because practice makes progress. Yes. My passion is to support people in transforming their lives. I am here to support you. My mission is to give inspiration through spiritual life coaching, preaching, and teaching that ignites the divine spark within you to live life in joy, connected to your yes, 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 yes. So if you need support, you can reach out to me. You can send me a direct message on Facebook and on Instagram, and we will set up some time to talk. I will be promoting very soon my second cohort for group spiritual life counseling. So if you've been looking for spiritual life coach, here I am, and I'll be doing my second cohort of group spiritual life coaching very soon. So stay tuned for that. The first group is all that. We're having a good time. I see Eugene on Instagram. It's good to see you. I'm early for today because I have to go to the mechanic. So today's show is pre-recorded everywhere except for Instagram where we are live. So I hope everyone had a great weekend. I certainly did. I had a great Sabbath yesterday. I am excited that we're in our season five and we have been talking about boldness, which is the series that was suggested by my sister Emoja. So Imaja, thank you so much for this suggestion. I've been loving the boldness series and I got your message. So I know that you are enjoying it as well. And we shall connect soon, girl. Yes, we will. So on Friday, I ran out of time. And so we're going to wrap up the boldness series today. I got caught up in sharing the story with y'all on Friday about the um, the 30-day time fast and what had happened, right? <laughs> so speaking of, of the 30-day time fast, series. Who's still in it with me? Today is day 16, day 16. And I am so aware of time. It is magnificent. And so I am continuing to affirm that I am the source of time. And on Friday, quick story, here we go again, quick story on time fast. So on Friday, Zola's train was late. So she texted me. She said, oh, mommy, my train is late. And she's probably going to be late for school, right? So I said, oh, we're the source of time. So I'm texting her. Affirm with me. We are the source of time. And she's like, no. (laughs) So I said, well, I'll do it for you. So I said, I am the source of time for Zola. I'm 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 her mama. So I am the source of time for Zola. And don't you know, her train was 13 minutes late and she still got to school on time. She should have gotten to school like five after eight because of the delay, but she got to school on time. So I am the source of time. I am the producer of time. I don't complain about time. Time is the inflow and the outflow and I flow with it. So I don't know who's still with me on the 30-day time fast, but I am still in it on this day 16. So let's wrap up boldness today. 
So the definition that we're working with is quality of going beyond the usual limits of conventional thoughts and action, right? So we are not being conventional at all in our thinking and in our actions. And the origin of the word that I pointed out was defiant, right? So you have to be defiant to be bold. Mm -hmm. That's what being unconventional is all about. And the origins of the word defiant is to defy, which is to trust. The origins of defiant is to trust. That means underneath, underneath, at the root, to be defiant is to trust and fidelity. And the origins of fidelity is faith. So the vibration of boldness is trust and faith. That's why I like to dig into the words because the root, the origin, the vibration is always something delicious there. So boldness requires trust and faith. Yes, it does. So to wrap up our boldness series today, I'm going to share eight tips to living boldly. All right. All right. I think I want some, um, let me see. I think I would like a little drum roll. Let's put a little drum roll. There's a drum roll going on. All right. <laughs> so eight tips to living boldly. Tip number one, stop hesitating. Stop hesitating. Stop hesitating. And so I shared that quote with you last week from William Hutchison Murray. And I'm not going to read the whole thing again, but he starts off by saying, until one is committed, there is hesitancy. The chance to draw back always in effectiveness concerning all acts of initiative and creation there was one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans, that the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves to. Providence moves to. So when you are being bold, you know that divine providence is moving with you. And then he ends with this, and most people are familiar with the end of this quote, whatever you can do or dream, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. So to be bold is to live in your genius, to live in your genius. And we talked about genius in our book study, The Big Leap with Guy, Gay, H Gay Hendricks, Gay Hendricks. So I highly recommend that book. So that's number one, stop hesitating. Two, it's time to move. So we're going to pack up a bag. Yep, just your essentials. So pack up your things and we're going to move from self sabotaging avenue. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're moving from self-sabotaging avenue. It's time to move y'all. It's time to move and stop self-sabotaging. -sabot and in the book, The Big Leap, Hendrix calls it the upper limit problem. Self-sabotaging is when everything is going well, right? And somehow, some way, you self-sabotage yourself because you just can't believe that all this wonderfulness is happening and something bad must happen. And so we self-sabotage as an example. So that's two. Three, feel uncomfortable. Get out of your comfort zone. And a book a great book to go along with this is The Dream Giver by Bruce Wilkinson, right? 
the story of ordinary who moves from the land of familiar, moves out of the comfort zone into his dream, his purpose by going to the land of, of uncomfortableness, right? He moves into the zone of being uncomfortable. So when we're trying something new, when we're taking a risk, when we're being bold, it feels uncomfortable because for many of us, it's unfamiliar territory. And so just like when you're traveling somewhere and you've never been there before, or when you're driving somewhere and you've never been there before, you don't know exactly where you're going. You might be like, oh, I'm a little nervous about this. That is natural. It is good. It is a good sign when we feel uncomfortable. So just lean into it. Just lean into it. It is a natural state of being to feel nervous when you're doing something out of your comfort zone, to even feel some anxiety about it. Just breathe through it and keep moving forward. Yes? So feel uncomfortable. Four, be committed to taking action. We can't just think about what we're going to do. We even just can't set an intention. We have to take action. So we think, we plan, we act. We set intentions, we, we, we take action, right? So boldness requires action. And not just any old kind of action, because the definition is the quality of going beyond the usual limits of conventional thoughts or action. So you're making bold moves is what we're talking about, Lady Cinnamon, taking bold moves in your life. So that's number four. Number five, and this is my favorite, a couple of years ago, I did a month of this and it was so much fun. Number five is be unreasonable. <laughs> Make unreasonable requests. Don't rationalize anything. Ask for help, right? Make unreasonable requests. It don't have to make any sense whatsoever. Don't try to make any logic out of it, right? If you get an a intuitive hit and you're like, you want me to do what? Go, go do it. Go and do it. Be unreasonable. Some of us reason too much and we don't move. We don't move. We experience the same day over and over and over again, thinking and talking about what we're going to do and we don't do it because we get sucked into the reasonable, the conventional, the expected, right? Living in that little box. It's time to move, y'all. It's time to move. Number six, you could be unreasonable. You could do all of these things and be bold because we are cultivating trust and faith. So we cultivate trust and faith in divine guidance. Know that you are not out here all by yourself. You have the whole universe conspiring on your behalf. It's called divine providence, right? So we go within and we seek guidance and we receive guidance. And what do we do with that guidance? We listen, we obey, and we act, even if it appears to be unreasonable, even if it makes you feel a little uncomfortable. It's a good thing. These are good signs. That's what you can say to yourself. Oh, this is a good sign. Because we, we love pointing out when things are a sign. Oh, it must be a sign. You're supposed to do that. Oh, that's a sign. I'm not supposed to leave him yet. Oh, that's a sign. <laughs> right? We love doing that. So add this to your little sign list. Oh, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Right? But we're trusting. Right? Divine guidance. 
divine guidance might tell us to stop doing something, right? That makes us uncomfortable. To stop doing something, <laughs> you'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean. All right. So that's number six, cultivate trust and faith in divine guidance. Number seven. Now, you'll know, those of y'all who know me, know how, know how I roll, know that this would have to be on this list, right? Living boldly requires non-negotiable daily spiritual morning practice. Non-negotiable spiritual practice. Every day, throughout the day. We are practicing the presence that dwells within us. And we start by our daily morning spiritual practice, non-negotiable. Just like the example I love to give is if you leave your house and you realize you left your cell phone home, you will turn around in your car, you will walk back to your house and get your cell phone because you can't phantom a day being out all day long without your cell phone. That's the kind of energy that I am highly encouraging you to have towards your daily morning spiritual practice. It is non-negotiable. And God forbid, right, if your cell phone is about to die, if the battery is like on 5%, sound the alarms, what am I to do? I don't have my charger, right? Let's have that kind of energy about our spiritual practice, about our relationship with the divine, about our relationship with ourselves. That's what I'm talking about. And number eight, Take a bold baby step today without further delay. Whatever it is, take a bold baby step today, right? Because that takes us right back to number one. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now, whatever it is. Begin it now. So I'll go through those real quick again. Eight tips to living boldly. And the reason why I chose eight is because 2024, the vibration of 2024 in numerology is eight. And eight is power. Eight is authority, agency. Eight is about action and doing. That is the energy of 2024, all right? So that's a little numerology for you. One, stop hesitating. Two, stop sabotaging. Move from self-sabotaging avenue. Pack up, let's go. Three, feel uncomfortable. Four, be committed to taking action. Boldness requires action. Five, be unreasonable. Make an unreasonable request that don't make no sense to anybody and maybe not even to you. Make an unreasonable request and stop rationalizing. Six, cultivate, cultivate trust and faith in your divine guidance. All of us, all of us are divinely guided. Seven, non-negotiable daily morning spiritual practice. Non-negotiable. Eight, take a bold baby step today. Teeny weeny eatsy bitsy baby step today. Stop delaying. Stop doubting. Move forward. Move forward. All right? So there we have it, our eight tips to living boldly. I hope that you will pick one or two and practice, right? It's all a practice. So practice living boldly. 
practice living boldly. And practice requires action. It requires action. All right, y'all. All right. So that completes our boldness series. Thank you, Imaja, again. I so, so appreciate it. We're going to start a new series tomorrow, suggested from you. So stay tuned tomorrow to see what that is and who suggested it. And we're going to get into some very quick joy news so I could get to the mechanics. So if you're joining me late, this show is pre-recorded. Please still put in your comments, say hello, do all the things, and I will read them. And I'm pre-recording today because I have to go to the mechanic. So joy news. Join me for the 30-day time fast. It's not too late. (laughs) There's there's still time (laughs) to join the 30-day time fast. So join me. Affirm I am the source of time every day. Stop complaining about time every day. That's all you have to do. April is Joy and Yes Month. I'm celebrating four years of morning sip. My first live was on April 6, 2020, and we're still going strong. So I'm so excited. And part of the celebration is getting suggestions for series from my Congregation of Joy. So if you have a, a recommendation for a series, just put it in the comments and I'll add it to the list. And we'll see what happens from there. So I want to thank Linda for our Grace series two weeks ago and Imaja for our Boldness series now. Sunday and Praise this Sunday at Rockland CSL, where I am the spiritual director. We will be virtual and we will have a guest speaker, Eugene Holden, my dear friend. He will be um, speaking about the law of yes, because at Rockland CSL, our theme for April is yes. So please join us 1030 a.m. Eastern time virtually on Zoom. You can go to rocklandcsl.org, click Sunday service, and the Zoom link is there. We also live stream on Facebook. The other thing that happens on Sunday is the other sip, which I call Sunday in Praise, 10.30 a.m. also. It is a replay of an inspirational talk. So this Sunday, I will be replaying the sermon that I gave this past Sunday. And the sermon was Say Yes to Life. Woo! And I was all the way in it. Oh, I felt the presence and had lots to share. And we had a good time. So I will be sharing that on Sunday, 1030 a.m. on my Facebook and YouTube and New Thought Media Network at I Am Red Melissa. Okay, let's see what else. Save the date. Save the date. Our next meditation with the full moon is on April 23rd. April 23rd, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We do a full-blown spiritual practice with the moon, with the energy of the moon. So please join me for that. April 23rd, next week, y'all. Can y'all believe it? Next week, April 23rd, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we have our community cafe. I had a blank there for a minute. Our community cafe at Rockland CSL, we do a midweek boost, like a little little something something to get you through the rest of the week if you need that. And on the third Wednesday, we focus on self-care and it's specifically for um, people who are in a caregiving role or have been and can provide some support and wisdom with people who are doing that right now. It's also for people who just need more attention for themselves, their own self-care. So please join us. That's Wednesday, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Go to rocklandcsl.org, click on Community Cafe, and the Zoom link is there. 
So that is on Zoom, 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And it is facilitated by one of my practitioners at Rockland CSL. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, to wrap this up, next week, y'all. All right, so next week's going to be an interesting week because I'm going to be at Disney <laughs> with my daughter, Aria. She and some of her classmates are performing at Disney next week, and they're doing workshops at Disney's Imagination Campus. I am so excited. I am so proud of Aria because she is choreographing the dance that they will be performing at Disney. So I will be doing some live, some pop-up, some pre-recorded, some replays, depending on what the schedule is um, next week. So just as a heads up, please still tune in. Please still give your comments and the energy and all the wonderfulness. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, next week. The Meditation with the Moon will happen. It might be pre-recorded, but it will happen 8.30 p.m. on the 23rd. Please remember to support my soul brother, Sekou Writes. His show, Get Rich 101, at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time, right here on New Thought Media Network. Also, follow him, Sekou Writes on Facebook and Instagram. His show airs Monday through Friday, 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and streaming on New Thought Media Network. So please check out Sekou Writes. And I want to shout out my soul sister, Fee King. She does her show Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Facebook and Instagram. Follow her at the fee at Fee King on Instagram and on Facebook. And the last thing I want to share is I am in part two, Fee's calling it point two oh of the abs, ass, and fat and bat fat <laughs> challenge abs, ass, and back fat challenge. And my abs today are on fire because I went to the gym and y'all know that machine is kind of like angled and you lay on it on your stomach and then you use your legs to go up and down, right? It's like a, like a crunch. Oh, it feels so good, right? But whew, I'm feeling it today. So I am in it to win it and it's not too late to join the challenge. So follow Fee King on social media and all the information is on her social media pages. Okay. All right. I think we got everything. I will see y'all tomorrow. I'll be back live tomorrow, 1030 AM Eastern time. Live boldly, y'all. Live boldly. Live boldly as your quality. We're going to do a quality roll call this week. Live boldly as your quality. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. So thank you, Jean, for being with me today. Thank you, Lady Cinnamon, for being with me today live on Instagram. Thank you all for watching the pre-recording. I so appreciate it. Peace and blessings. Peace and justice. We are living life in joy connected to our yes. Woo! <laughs>